Being a gold digger help you grow your business? Well, we're going to find out today thanks to my guest, Alicia Dunham's coming to us all the way from San Francisco. Alicia, thank you so much for being on the show today. Absolutely. I'm excited to get started. <laughs> well, Alicia, <laughs> you are, uh, not only are you a business coach, you're an entrepreneur, but you are also an author and you wrote this book, Gold Digger, and we're going to talk about this book today. So I wanted to know, how did you come about to decide to write this book? Oh, wow. So this takes us back a few years. Uh, so I was a single mother, um, And, uh, yeah, single mother, and I had my own uh, technical writing business. Mm -hmm. I had my own house. I lived in Sacramento, California, and I was dating uh, I was dating this guy and, you know, just kind of doing what every girl does, you know, uh, just uh, doing her thing, working, and um, having maybe a boyfriend and stuff. And, and I went to this New Year's Eve party, and it was for the uh, uh, a woman whose husband was Eddie Murphy at the time. So this is the woman um, who uh, had all of his uh, his kids and was with him the longest. And they're no longer together. No, she had and, five kids with him, I think. Yes, five kids. Her name is Nicole Mitchell. She's a model. Yeah. And so she's a family friend. And uh, so I went uh, to this party. And all the women, older women, were kind of getting drunk, and they were they were talking to me and and saying, "Oh, Alicia, you know, you're too you're too smart and you're too pretty. You should be with a wealthy man." So you so. went through Patty's services, the millionaire matchmaker, and she actually hooked you up with a few millionaires. This was back in the day. This was before she was the millionaire before matchmaker. She was on TV. This mm. was okay. Yeah, this is when she was just a matchmaking. Uh, a matchmaker uh, had her own business down in LA. Uh, so this is before the whole Bravo phase. So, uh, yeah, this was before then. I'm trying to think, I don't even remember. It was, uh, uh, about b back in 2005. Okay. So you met a few guys, they were extraordinarily rich. You went on dates with them. How was it? How was it like to live that, I guess, champagne and caviar lifestyle as, uh, Robin Lynch, I think used to tell us about. <laughs> <laughs> well, I think, I think I wasn't interested, you know, how they made, I wasn't interested that they had money. I was interested on how they made their money. Mm -hmm. um, so for me, it was kind of exciting to go on uh, dates with men. But then I realized at the end of the day, I wasn't looking for that. I just got out of a, a two-year relationship. I was looking to be empowered myself. Mm -hmm. I, uh, One of the one of the wealthy men that I dated, he I asked him like every day, it's like, how did you make this money? How did you do this? And he goes, Alicia, you're industrious enough to be your own millionaire. And that was really what light, uh, really lit the fire uh, in me. And um, and he's he was right. And I, I it took took a millionaire guy that I hardly knew to to tell to tell me that. And so that really like kind of burst the forest fire, as I say <laughs> in the, in the book to say, yeah, damn straight. I am, I am, uh, smart enough, uh, to be my, to be my own millionaire. Do you find that women have difficulty in terms of taking risks and going for, you know, the big, big, big rewards or, or not? I think uh, women are definitely adverse to risk, uh, in general, uh, and which, is uh, which is fine um i i find um uh you know in when you're investing in your business and making big steps forwards you have to take risks uh, i always say there's no middle ground in business there's no stagnation it's either you're working on your business and it's growing or it's uh, it's declining it's Absolutely. decreasing so you're either moving forwards or you're moving backwards in your business uh, there's no middle ground and so during the economy where everyone's like oh my god the economy uh, it's the people who really are focusing and investing on their business now that are going to really have an upswing when the economy uh, is again on fire so um, yes in terms of women they're uh, not as risk adverse but I find the most successful women take risks 